I got a cut on my face, so that little shiny stuff you see on my face is Neosporin. Just put that out there now, so people not asking later. But uh, this isn't even going to be a discussion, a, like a let's discuss. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to call it a let's discuss, because it's something deeper than that. I mean, I'm gonna still put it in a let's discuss playlist, but this is more so just like a vlog. You know, I don't know, I guess I can put it in a let's discuss, but I'll decide that later after the video is finished. But, um, I need me a fresh start. Like, I just do. Like, I understand my position as to why I'm not successful, and I also understand that most of it is not my fault. I, like, I take my share of the blame, and I take the blame that I know that I need to take, but oftentimes... It's not my fault. Uh, you know, I'm 2,900, well, 2,098 uh, subscribers strong on YouTube. And I feel like um, it's getting to a point, but not really, to where I'm, I'm starting to get people's attention. But I think people are confused with the... With the content that I, I produce, that they don't really know what they're getting. You know what I mean? Um, you know, for, for the people who've been subscribed to me since I since I started back in June of 2006, let's take it back to June 2006, so you can really understand why I feel like I need uh, this fresh start right so when i first got started on youtube like even before then video games have always been my thing like from the time when i was younger all the way up until now since i was three years old all the way up until now um video games have always been my thing and it was always a dream of mine to make money playing video games that was my thought when i was a kid that's still my thought now because that's what i'm passionate about where anytime i think about video games it's like I, I wake up, play a video game, or think about playing a video game. I, I go to sleep, wake up, think about playing a video game the next day, thinking about when the next, you know, AAA release coming out, or when the next indie game is coming out. You know what I mean? Like, video games is just me. It's always been me. In, in, in particular, fighting games, adventure, fighting games, adventure games, and platformers. But, you know, all video games. Like, I'm just, you know, it's just who I am. You know, it's at the end of the day, like, if I stop playing video games for like, like, or if I say that I'm going to stop playing video games, you know, today, I'm going to wake up and I'm, I'm going to play a video game, like, just instinctively, like, that's just who I am as a person, you know, video games are just me, you know what I mean, so, I can't, I, this is something that, that, you know, and it, that was just a hobby when I was a kid that turned into a passion. You know, I mean, since I was three years old playing the Atari 2600, um, you know, that's always been a dream of mine. So when I when I first got my, or when my mother bought a, uh, a desktop, um, back in like 2006, you know, I decided that I wanted to make, you know, like a YouTube presence, and I knew that if I was going to be online, I was going to need an alias, so, you know, you know, like I came up with Azariel at that time, and Azariel, that's actually my name, um, you know, and I get, I got, I guess another video will be, you know, what that name means, because it actually means something, but regardless, uh, you know, I, I created a present online, and I just started uploading content, now at first it was just random videos, like, you, you go to my first video, I think it was a video of me playing this game called, um, what was the name of it, I, I want to say that it was, um, um, uh, I want to say, um, um, S4 League, I believe that was the name of that game, 
And I honestly think that it is around still. I don't know if they closed down the service for that game or not, but that was like my first um, experience. Well, not even first experience, but that was my first chance to, you know, record content. And I, I think I, on, I think I only uploaded one video of me playing S4 League. That was a fun game, too. I wish I could go back and play that again, but I, know, I guess I'll try to look it up. But, yeah, S4 League was the very first video. It was an S4 gameplay video. That was the first time I ever uploaded anything to my YouTube channel. That was the first time I ever uploaded anything to YouTube. And, of course, Grand Chase became, you know, like my thing after that. And then me looking on YouTube and seeing that there was like a void in the Nintendo DS, you know, playthroughs outside of, you know, somebody doing, well, it wasn't really people doing full playthroughs in Nintendo DS games at that time. So I decided to make that my thing. So I played every Nintendo DS playthrough I can get my hands on, you know, and, um, that was my thing for a while until I moved on to console and, you know, a lot of people have, uh, people have asked me to, to go back to playing uh, games on uh, the Nintendo DS, but I haven't been able to get around to it uh, due to financial reasons, but, you know, it, it's been a roller coaster ride for me. And... Yeah, man, it's just been a roller coaster ride for me, and I just, um, I haven't been able to do anything really to, um, to really get to where I want to be, to where I can be financially stable and I can make more enter entertaining content. Because I feel like since then, you know, I've went through phases. Like I said, I went through, like, you know, me just uploading random gameplay videos from, like, S4 League to video games from, like, you know, to, to like, me having uh, matches in Grand Chase and me doing Grand Chase videos to me doing Nintendo DS playthroughs to doing food vlogs to doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content and now just console gaming. Uh, you know, me playing video games on a console. Um, it's just been a transition. And I think throughout the time, I think people have come to expect certain things from me that I'm no longer doing and it, it it put viewership in a state of confusion like I think there's people who come to my channel to this channel still thinking that I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh content can I still get those messages underneath the Yu-Gi-Oh videos that are still underneath this channel that that were uploaded underneath this channel um Not knowing that I have an ADS Play Cards uh, channel where I haven't uploaded anything to it, but that's where the content, uh, as far as me uploading anything, that's where it is. You know what I mean? Like, that's where any type of content like that is going to be. Um, and I think, you know, my subs are very inflated from those transitions. Like, I don't think I have... 2,098 subs. I mean, I do, but they're from different things, and pe and those people aren't coming back to watch the videos. You know what I mean? So, first thing is, I may need to make a new YouTube channel because I need a fresh start. And I think I'm going to make a new YouTube channel. And I think the focus on that YouTube channel is strictly going to be me doing live streams the way I'm doing now. But I'm going to try to be, attempt to be more entertaining with that than, um, than, I, than, than I am able to be on this. Because you guys have to understand, I have very rude family members. Very rude family members. And some of them, for some of them, it's so second nature that they don't even care that they're, they don't even know that they're doing it. You know, when, um... I remember I did like several videos, just me being outside, just like I am today. And how many times have people come up, you know, being nosy, throwing me off, uh, interrupting my train of thought? Because me, I'm a creative person. And anybody that's creative, whether you're doing video game related content, whether you're doing art, whether you're doing drawings, whether you're being an inventor, whether you're building something, 
any if you're a creative person and you have those thoughts always coming into your head you know that that's a gear that's always turning in your mind that just keeps that machine going that just keeps that fresh idea machine going and no matter what you do it's like you don't want to be interrupted not at all when you're in your zone which is me 24 7 i'm always in my zone and it's like i cannot allow myself to get interrupted in order for me to get things out the way that i need to get them out to where i know they would be into entertaining to you guys but i know for a fact that my situation doesn't allow for that because when i was living in louisiana with my mother constantly getting called constantly getting interrupted constantly even for nonsense the things that you don't even need to call me for it was just like i got traumatized by that it was just like you just interrupting every you know what i mean and there was a number of other things that i'm not going to talk about or a lot of other things but i'm gonna just leave it at that just so you can understand why i feel the way i feel about you know this between those other things and what i just told you you know constantly being interrupted and not being able to freely think or trying to put those thoughts into into motion because you're constantly being interrupted because people don't think what you're doing is important enough and they just want to be on your fucking nerves to all the way up until now to where I'm trying to do live streams upstairs trying to you know what I'm saying, produce content, trying to be active with you guys, and I constantly get interrupted with background noise of people having a TV too damn loud, or being noisy, somebody bringing their kids over here, and they're being loud, running around the damn house, getting into all types of shit, or family members who are just loud as hell, ratchet, obnoxious, and just, it's a... Or people just talking all their personal business and me having to constantly mute my microphone in between commentary just so that I don't catch that into the playthrough. Because I know how destructive that can be for the viewer. You know what I mean? It's just... It has nothing to do with the gameplay at hand. It has nothing to do with um, the genre of game that I'm playing. It's just random fucking background noise that just that just throws you off. And... and at one point, it, it pissed me off to the point where I was just in my streams. Now, it's to the point where, you know, on top of the hardware problems that I'm having with the laptop being like 10 years old and me trying to raise money for that and me trying to put my own money into it and raise money, you know, and thank you to the people who have donated towards that. If you want to help, the Streamlabs link is in the description. But on top of the hardware issues that I'm having and me trying to work those kinks out to where I can give you guys a decent stream, I have people who just, it, it, this is like a random fucking hotel at times, because you got random people coming, staying over here, that other people in the family may know, then they using up the fucking internet, and while I'm live streaming, it's like the, the, the live stream just shoots the fucking red, and I'm getting all these fucking frame drops, to where it's just, it's aggravating, it's just one thing after another, and with everything I've already been through, I need my own damn place to where I don't have that shit to worry about no more. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. You know, I started my esports team, joined my first tournament this month on the 12th in San Francisco, you know, passed my business cards around, hoping that something might pop up. Um, you know, I, I did get a lot of random uh, phone calls from people. Uh... from numbers that I didn't know, maybe it was one of them, but, um, if I don't know numbers, I'm not going to say anything, but I'm trying to connect, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to get sponsorships that can help me out financially and with hardware and things like that, but I need me a fresh start, dude, otherwise I'm not going to be able to do this and be successful at it, so I may need to start me a new YouTube channel, you know, to try to get a fan base that want to see what I'm doing. And it's not, you know, uh, a random array of people just coming here expecting things that I don't do anymore. You know, I do food reviews. I do um, video game playthroughs. I have fun with the viewers. Well, the two that seem to come in. But, you know, I do try to have fun with the viewers. You know, it's just that I know my hardware isn't the best. I know that's a factor. Um, and just getting my name out there is just a number of things. And I'm surprised the wind hasn't blown. You know what? Let me not jinx it. 
but it's been a number of things and I'm just trying to put myself in a position to where I can do this consistently and successfully to, uh, to add to that. Now that I gotten to that point, I know that my live stream times are not good. I know that I know that my live streaming times are not good because my, my current live stream times are from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and again from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with me being a small time live streamer, like I'm small, like I'm, I'm not even on a totem pole yet small, like people don't even know that people, it's like I'm barely scratching the surface to people to know that I exist. People might peek their head in my streams, but then they leave. You know what I mean? Like I haven't been able to grasp people to stay into my live streams uh, for a number of reasons. One, because I got a live stream at, you know, at 30 frames per second just to get the, the OBS to even work halfway decent. Two, you know, because my hardware limitations, I can't live stream at a smooth 60 frames per second or higher. Uh, three, um, you know, it's just one of those things where I can't, uh, at the very least visual, visually, try to get things the way I, they need to be in order for me to capitalize on what it is I'm doing. Um, four, I need my own damn place. Because sharing internet with people that just don't understand that, you know, what you got going on at the time you do. And they just rudely download shit randomly. And you know what I mean? Just when they don't, it, like, it's no need. You know, you don't have nothing going on. You're not downloading. Like, what are you downloading? Like, what, like why are you, you know, it, it's just sh shit that just don't make no sense. You know, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not, I'm not touching on. Trust me. You guys know I don't like bringing negativity to this channel. But it's always something going on. That interrupts what I got going on, you know. And I try to make the best out of a bad situation, but it's not enough, you know. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck uh, dealing with the nonsense to the point where I just need to get myself in a better position, you know. There's my part I need to play, but there's you know a financial aspect of it. You know, and that's not me necessarily asking for donations or nothing like that. Like I said, you can if you want to, but it's, you know, I'm not begging people to help me, you know, because I know that's unrealistic. But, um, you know, so much so that I even stopped posting my Patreon. Like, I don't even post my Patreon anymore. Because uh, it's just, I know it's not going, yeah, like it's not, not really helping. But I do have uh, everything going on for me to where I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. But it's just like the more I go down that tunnel, it's, it almost feels like I'm going nowhere fast. You know, I don't have the proper equipment to get to where I need to go. That was a good metaphor. But it just, it's exhausting, you know what I mean? And I want to make this a success as much as possible. I know I got to move around more, but I just need to get in a position where I can do that. And I need to do my part to put myself in a position. So as far as the live streaming times, I'm going to announce a new live streaming schedule soon, you know. That's going to be more later on in the afternoon and at night because I know from 12 to 4, that's like a bad time for a lot of people. Like a lot of people aren't coming to my stream that early. You know what I mean? And with me being small, I know a lot of the bigger, you know, live streamers, a lot more than more known names. They're looking at it from a from a standpoint where it's like, you know, they can they can live stream at that time and people will come. You know, they'll come during college, they'll come during, you know what I mean, just any time they can get a video, uh, a chance to watch your stream, they're coming. Me, my name can't even fit through all those top names, so I need to live stream at a time that's more, that's one, more catering towards the, the crowd that actually comes back and watch my content, and two, 
um, at a time frame where, you know, because I'm in like the in like the like the earliest time zone. And what I mean by that is that you know, my time is, like, behind everybody else. Like, my time zone is behind everybody else. You know, like, Pacific time, I'm behind everybody else. So, I don't know. Wouldn't that make it later? Like, the latest time zone? Yeah, I think I'm in, like, the... Pretty much, like, I'm just behind everybody else. So, I have to cater towards, like, New York crowds and Central crowds and, like, you know, etc. Because... I know that I need to put myself in a position where where I'm able to uh, thrive, I guess you would say, and more people will be willing to come to my streams than somebody else, you know, but I know it's other big people that live stream that at those, at those times, so I just need to fit a live stream schedule to get people to come to my streams or to try to, you know, because I, I do use other platforms like, you know, Instagram to announce when I'm going live and Facebook, which doesn't really help because people don't really pay attention to my Facebook like that. My Instagram, yeah, people will respond, they'll like the post, but they don't come to the stream, so... It's like I know what's wrong, but I don't. I don't really have too many options as to, as far as what I can do to make everything work the way I need it to. So, only thing I can really do it immediately, as far as immediately, like as far as like in the next coming, within like the next couple of weeks, only thing I can really do is try to make, um make do with everything that I have as far as trying to live stream at a different time, maybe make a new YouTube channel, um, get my Discord promoted more, because I do want people to get more active on that, uh, you know, I, I just need... this to work out and I need to play my part so that's that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to post a different live stream schedule and try that out and see how well that works but but um, I'm also going to try another YouTube channel to, to see how well that works as well because I really need to get this uh get this ball rolling like I really do and I hope that you know everything works for me to where I can make it happen so that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching peace and keep on gaming